volcanic activity or catastrophic events some 28 million years ago, as we have measured in areas of North Mexico, where the surface of the earth changed, allowing volcanic openings and porous materials to construct, as it were, underground cavities. Into these cavities, members of the human society found shelter from the noxious poisons and gases and orders of destruction that took place rather suddenly. If we look at our planetary system, there is an obvious grid of underground cavities from the areas of the Gobi areas of Central Asia to the areas of Malta in the Mediterranean to areas even of the mountains of Untersberg in Central Europe, Mont Blanc, Jungfrau, to areas we have specifically worked with with seismology in Central North Mexico and also areas of the Andes, Peru, Ecuador and Bolivia in particular have underground structures that run for hundreds of kilometers. In Southeast Asia we know that these structures also exist in the areas of Sumatra, Borneo and Indonesia. Clearly throughout the world there are major areas which seem to be contact points with parallel evolution. Dietrich Eckhart shaped Hitler's thinking more than we can imagine today. He also directed him towards a mediumistic education and showed him how to make contact with the spiritual world, in particular with the Germanic gods and the ancient Hyperia people from Agatha. Thus, the leader became a guided one who communicated with the spiritual world and the masters of Agatha. Only when he had developed these mediumistic attributes to the full did Dietrich Eckhart propagate the idea of a leader in the Tula society and in the popular esoteric circles. Already in the First World War, the German military sent various expeditions which later were known as German colonies. Some esoteric followers like General Ludendorff who had access to the foundations and connections to the secret orders and castles supported the expeditions and their search for the lost cities and treasures of the old Atlantean high cultures. In the early 20s, in a privately financed expedition, Edmund Kiss explored various regions of South America and discovered a wide-ranging system of caves with an opening to the inner earth. The different esoteric societies with their secret orders, country estates, and later also their castles were the meeting points of the esoteric elite, which saw itself as guided to resurrect the old knowledge of Atlantis and of the Indo-Germanic prophecies. The society that dealt with the lost technology of the gods and their impelling force was the so-called Freel Society. This society collected all the information dealing with the technology of polarity and levitation. When the National Socialists came to power and the old leagues and alliances had accomplished their duty, the esoteric followers of the time began to carry out their expeditions at the state's cost. Various secret working circles financed by the Third Reich were established. of the group, Heirs of the Ancestors, was concerned with the study of races, and some high esoteric followers were contracted to investigate the past of the Aryan race with ordinary archaeologists and scientists. Many Third Reich expeditions were initiated through the orders and foundations. Edmund Kiss went for the second time to South America with an elite group of scientists and the latest technology in order to find and enter into the inner earth and Agatha. Allegedly, they found a spaceship from Atlantis in one of the bigger caves. The secret society, Akakor, was founded, whose role it was to further explore the technology, even in the event of a war. 
In the 80s, was ARD television correspondent Karl Brugger killed because he had published a book which alleged an active role of this same society up to the present day? I had the privilege of knowing Karl Brugger, the author of Die Chronik von Akakur, many years ago in Brazil, where we worked together with the white Indian peoples of the upper Amazon, who spoke a dialogue very much like an ancient Germanic language and who had contact with the star people. Tragically, Karl Brugger was killed by someone in the Brazilian establishment who felt he had too much information on the Indian civilizations and perhaps knew too much about the genocide against the Indian peoples taking place. I dedicated my book, The Sphinx on Mars, to Karl Brugger, and in this book, I show for the first time the historic pictures that NASA has of the pyramid structures on Mars, as well as pictures of the pyramids in Brazil and South American places, suggesting that there was a historic connection between the planetary grid of energy places marked by pyramids and temples and those of other planetary bodies. Karl Brugger was one of the great historians, journalists, and humanists of the 20th century. It is very important for each of us to try to get in contact with his teaching, his legacy, because it forms the connecting link between the Indian peoples, the earlier Atlantean type peoples, or what is called in Central America the Atlans, the great giants who are blonde, and the European peoples to show a connecting bridge between civilizations and centuries. The chronic also refers to the coming of the extraterrestrial peoples, according to the Indians, at the beginning of the 21st century. Due to the misuse of science, the destruction of the planetary environment, the imbalance of knowledge, what we call Western civilization, the Untergang des Auslands, will come to a quick change with the appearance of the star people. And for this reason, we must keep our eyes and ears open to the signs from space of a new communication system connected also with the teachings of the Indian peoples. The South American Indians of the Andes recognize UFOs as brothers from the sky who have always been there, who are there today. They are not any more unique than an airplane, an airliner flying overhead with passengers aboard. To them, the brothers from the sky have always been there. They do, they do make contact with the Indians and they do treat people in remote areas where they cannot get to doctors, they, they heal them, they treat them medically, uh, they interact with the Indians and with primitive people, both in the high plains and the